Hello guys. So I have gotten countless requests to make a video separately for my caramel albino red ear slider. Gotten at least forty requests for it. So I am going to make a video about it right now. Zooming up on the I just found out it's a wide striped southern painted turtle, not a regular southern painted turtle. It's a wide striped wide striped. That means that the stripe on his back is wider than a regular one. And apparently it's like one out of fifty southern painted have it. So I'm going to get the caramel slider out and I will show him to you. Uh, Alright, so here she is. This is the little caramel slider. It's a female and she's turning exactly three weeks old. Um this Saturday so not three weeks old that I've had her like literally three weeks old so this is her she's adorable I know that it's a female because he said that he had tested her and he has a separate box for males and females so this is a female she's very very adorable I love her eyes Oh, I wish it wouldn't be blurry all the time. So, she's a caramel albino pink red ear slider. Caramel pink albino red ear slider, sorry. And, not much to say. Uh, care for them is standard for most regular red ear sliders. <clears throat> you would have uh, to feed her romaine lettuce every day because as for all baby turtles you need to feed them romaine lettuce to help their shell growth um, it's almost like natural vita shell and uh, I like to feed her krill pellets because she doesn't really like regular pellets she devours the krill pellets though the, it's, it's by a rep, it's a repto treat called Suprema and that's what I feed her most of the time. I also feed her turkey. She likes turkey a lot and the water temperature for a baby should be around 85 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put it a little less but it's better to have it at a higher temperature because babies uh, need their metabolism to be high or else they will not eat and can die easily. So. Uh, that's important to have their water temperature high so they're always ready to eat when you feed them. Um, what do you think? Oh, UV light. Uh, depending on how far away or close the UV light is, um, if it's about a foot away from the tank, which is what mine is, uh, I would say about a 75 watt light. Uh, that's what I have for my four little turtles. And if closer, the turtle, the closer it is, the lower the wattage should be, and uh, vice versa. The farther it is, the higher the wattage. But um, that's really it. They got along great with other turtles. Um, standard for as any other red ear slider, they grow. Females get to uh, 12 inches. Males get to about seven or eight at most. So yeah, she is going to be a breeder turtle when she becomes an adult. I'm planning on breeding my turtles. So when she becomes an adult, I will pro most probably get a male and breed her to him. We'll have little babies. So I'm excited. And really, that's just it. Let's see if I can get a nice, non-blurry close-up of her face. She is so cute. Okay, so that's really it. So, uh... I will uh, show her to you uh, probably a little later. She's <laughs> she's too cute. I love her. But yeah, uh, if any of you get one, let me know. I'll if I can think of anything, I'll give you further information. Uh, you guys could send me pics of your tanks, and I will give you instructions on what else you need or how good or what I like about it and tips on anything you need. So, here she is. Oh, she's so
so cute. Okay. So, oh, by the way, uh, I, never, I don't think I ever mentioned this. The Caramel Pink Elvina Ridger Slider is the first ever designer turtle. So, that's, <laughs> I find that really interesting. But, yeah, that's really it. So, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.